Not a banner week for gold prices as Gary Wagner takes us into the weekend on this edition of Chart This. Gary, thanks for being with us today. As always, it's my pleasure to be here. All right, Gary, so uh, gold prices were led by a very strong US dollar this week. What did you make of uh, the gold price action? Well, you know, we saw the market actually trade above a key level that I was looking at, which was 1221. But that was extremely short-lived and extremely close to just going above that resistance point because it came down a few days later. So right now we're back within that range that we've been talking about, 1182 on the low side, 1221 on the high side. And the fact that we've moved back into that range to me is foreboding because it seems to be easier to move down from here than up from here, especially with the dollar rebounding again. Now, what are the key levels that you're looking at for gold? Well, right now, I mean, as of uh, yesterday, we're trading just above 1200 and 1200 is obviously a pretty critical number. So on the support side, we want to see, can the market hold 1200? If it cannot, we're looking at the numbers that we have been looking at over the last month, month and a half, which is 1192 and 1182. That would be your different support levels. On the upside, until we can see the market close above 1221, uh, it's very, very difficult for me to be bullish long term. All right, Gary, let's get to the inserts. What have you brought for us today? Well, again, we're going to look at uh, some of the key levels that we've been looking at and explain on a technical basis why those levels are important. We're also going to look at the dollar because the dollar again is back into a resurgence mode. It's back moving to the upside after correcting. And so the question is, will we see the dollar really pick up steam and begin to move up and what effect that will have on gold? Great, Gary, let's go to your insert. Just a little over a week has gone by since our last chart this recording. And since that time, we have seen the gold market in essence trade to or just to the resistance area that we identified at roughly 1221 to 1223 and actually exceed or break above that and hit a top at roughly 1230. However, that was going to be a very, very short lived market move as we saw really the dollar begin to roar its head. And as that dollar moved up, we witnessed gold moving down tremendously. So to give you an idea of what kind of moves we have seen in the dollar recently, I draw your attention to this chart. This is a weekly chart. So this one single candlestick represents the range that gold has traded opening at the beginning of the week at just about 93. And as of Thursday afternoon in Hawaii, which is when we are recording this, we've had the index move up significantly to above 95. So if you recall from our last chart disc that was done roughly a week ago, the question that we asked, the most important question was, as we witness this market really taking off and really having a nice rally in which we saw the market move from about 1180 now up to about 1230, our question, and this was of course last week when the market was just breaking above that, was whether or not a break above this or this would be a flash in the pan or if we would move directly back into the range that the market has been so prevalently trading within. Well, the short answer right now is obviously yes. We did not get any kind of a sustained rally in the market. And in fact, it's now moved back towards the mid range really of this particular range that's really been so prevalent in gold when we consider that over the last two months it is traded in a defined range between call it 1173 on the low and well now 1230 but 1221 and the key the key is really the dollar if the dollar does recoup right now then in fact we will probably see a continuation of this weakness that we are exhibiting currently in gold however on a short-term basis, a lot of my indicators are telling us that we could see gold find some support here. And in essence, what we're getting is a corrective wave that would be something like an A, 
a B, which would take you roughly to 50 to 75% of this move down, and then one final move down. So it really wouldn't surprise me next week if we actually saw the market clip up and move up between 1200 to just below this existing resistance at around 1221 to 1223. For those traders that like this type of analysis and would like to receive this type of analysis on a more regular basis, I recommend that you go to our website, thegoldforecast.com. There you will see a button that will allow you to sign up for a free trial. And in that way, you can get our daily video report every day next week. Again, gold seems to be caught back in that trading range that has been so prevalent as we go into the summer months. Beautiful, Gary, thanks. You're very welcome, and I do wanna wish all of our Chartist viewers a great weekend, and most importantly, a prosperous investing and trading next week. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. And thank you for watching this edition of Chart This. Remember, tomorrow we will have some exclusive content available only to newsletter subscribers by our own Jim Wyckoff. So if you want in on some of that, make sure you sign up on the link below. And for our American friends, happy long weekend. For the rest of us, hope for a quiet Monday. Mm -hmm.